so welcome to another video for my life coaching course so I'm talking about um, setting the year and month and middle of the year or at the end of the month to reflect and to edit so basically um, spend some time uh, reflecting over what you've achieved each month and if you don't want to do it uh, each month then you do it each week um, each day but I find that sometimes when I'm busy I, and I've been on the computer all day, I don't really want to, on the, at the end of the day, um, continue to work. But I do like to go over and go through my notebooks, go through lists um, of items that I've written down I still haven't done. Um, and I will go through it, I'll reflect on what I have done. And then I'll edit and go through um, other bits as I go through the day. Um, but you can do it each month, you could do it in the, in the middle of the month or at the end of each month or and also do it you know, um, at the end of the year so I love it, at the end of December I love reflecting over the year before to set me, uh, to help set my year, a uh, year ahead so that's, uh, and if you are working towards a new career um, and you want to go through your progress of how you know if you've attended interviews and how they went and anything you can learn from them because um, even if you don't get a, a job straight away um, having interviews set up is a good way for you to practice again because sometimes we forget and interview the interview process when it comes to jobs changes all the time you know uh, but the main things they, they will ask you is about you and it, it's your chance to see what they, they are like as an employer so they, so when you're, you're going to interview, interview them as well because you want to make sure that you're going to be treated fairly as an employee if you've got a chance to progress um, within the company um, and so you know you can, that's what I often use to do is to reflect over the jobs that you know I didn't get and think well why didn't I get that you know um, and another thing is is edit so basically is there something in your life that's holding you back are you struggling to get a certain thing on your list done like for me um, I would love to make my bed but <laughs> I just want to get up and work so perhaps if I you know um, you know, set a time to perhaps at the weekend to make my bed, then perhaps that will make a difference. But is it something that really bothers me? Not as such, not at all. But when I get my new place, I would I would like to spend time making my bed. You know, um, and also you know, um, I, you know, fitting in reading. Sometimes by the end of the day, I'm so uh, you know um, tired of working I, I, that I'm too tired to read so um, but then what I do is when I can add it in add, add reading in and you know is there a gap in my day that I can spend um, even at the weekend read it, doing some reading because reading to me is important I love reading books and um, and also I'm listening to an audio book that I want to get through as well so it's, it's edit, editing is basically balancing uh, going through now, is there a particular thing that you're struggling to do that you've written, you're written down but you're not getting done in the mornings? Perhaps it's the wrong time of the day. And perhaps you may need to move it in the afternoon or at the end of the day, you know? Um, and it's going through that. And, and, and with career building, you do have to go through, well, you know, is there an element of the, the career that I want to do that I feel fearful of that's kind of not making me want to do that task that I've written down for me I don't like cleaning but I don't want I, but when it gets to the point where I've come all over the desk um, you know my foot I've got the, you know needs hoovering I need to set that time so uh, tomorrow I'm going to set that time I want to spend some time just uh, clearing rubbish because by the end of each week I have rubbish to clear and have a big sort of swoop and then hoover and then put things into place, you know, and have a little potter around because I love pottering around, so I want to spend some time doing that. Um, and then the other one is have no days, so no makeup days, no email days, no phone calls. So I don't really have phone calls, I do all my work 
virtually really um, and a lot of people do it that way because it saves money saves money on phone bills and it, you know you're still communicating but, but, but via you know through, through my laptop basically um, and I like to have days where I don't put makeup on so I can use that time to um, you know go back to bed and do a bit of reading or you know, um, watch a lot. I love at the weekends watching documentaries that I don't get a chance to watch during the week. And I do like to, I do like to make my weekends different to the days of the week. I've always been that way. You know, uh, Saturdays as a kid, for example, after being to, to school, and I, 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 I've expressed how much I loathed school. I used to love the weekends because Saturday I would get up. Uh, go to dancing school. Dancing school would start about uh, about half past about ten o'clock. Um, very early than that. And then afterwards, I would uh, go to my nan's. Uh, my mum put me up. We'd go to even my friend's house. My, my friend Hayley and her mum would visit her, and then we'd go on to see my nan. And then we in the evening we'd come home, have dinner watch a bit of Saturday weekend television and I go to bed you know that was what my and then Sundays it was you know having a bacon sandwich in the morning uh, and then my dad would play his record he would go down to the pub first and then we would meet him down there or we sometimes if we didn't do that we would uh, walk along the river feed the ducks uh, with our butt and be riding on our bikes and so you know uh, is having days where you take a break from things so this week i've been focusing on writing my books i've still been writing blogs but i've been making sure that i get my books written that i'm working on this week and last week it was focusing on getting catching up on my blogs and you know so it's just feeling that on sundays is a day where i don't post any i may write blogs but i don't post I try not to post them live on the Sunday. I will schedule for the week after um, if I don't didn't get them done by Saturday. Um, so you know, it's freeing up. It's freeing up time, so you have time to have you know, like Fridays. I mean, you may um, because you've been working Monday to Friday and you've had a chance to catch up on the TV. Um, you may want to spend Friday night catching up on TV, you know, and it's just freeing up time that you have for yourself as well as you have for your work and have for your, your kids if you if you are a parent. Um, and if and also, so for example, I mean, I don't, you know, this these videos are, you know, they're my experience, and but you know, depending on what field you're in. If you are someone who writes blogs, books, uh, creates, creates online courses and videos uh, for your business, then it's making time so you can do those things, but also take a break from them as well. So, for example, when I was doing my 21 weeks challenges, I put many of my blogs on hold because then it gives my, my audience for my blogs time to catch up. And that's something that you need to do. You know, if you are if you are also a content creator um, a writer and you you know you uh, and you want to focus on a particular thing uh, set yourself challenges are a brilliant way but also having days where you spend time just mainly working on your blogs and then the next day like for me uh, Fridays is where I will catch up on my blogs um, and I will do a couple of videos, but the Saturdays where I will, you know, go through uh, my regular weekly posts that I haven't posted that that week, and then I will, you know, start to write them um, by, you know, so I have some ready to go out on Monday, ready for me to post more uh, through the, the rest of the week. So, you know, it's making days so you don't lose except of where you are. And also, it keeps you balanced, and it keeps you. I mean, sometimes I would, of, I often will just write down bit by bit what I've done that day, so I can go through. Okay, well I've done that, but I need to do that, you know. And it's um, so sometimes that's where I go back to reflect and edit. You know, after you've done, you know, a week's work on a Friday, and I, I, I sort of often do. I will then sit down and say, right, I've got the weekend. 
I don't want to post any live vlogs on Sunday, but I will see how, what I can schedule that can go up on a Sunday, so it frees up my Sundays to do uh, more videos that need to get need to go up, or do some more work on my books. So, um, and then the other one is. Uh, spending time um, if you if you get a lot of traffic uh, if you if you are an online business like I am and you also need to make sure that you that you know all your videos your books go uh, go onto your your social media pages then it's spending time updating your pin interest so what I do uh, throughout the day, uh, throughout the days as uh, as they go, is, uh, is that I will watch a lot of YouTube videos and um, on different subjects. And if I thought I want to share that video, then I will, and I will do it there. And then um, the one thing, uh, the one thing I will say not to do is don't write the video down to share because you might not get around to doing it. Share as soon as you see that it's interested you and it might interest the people you who watch or, or use your services that may also be a help to them you know and when running you know when uh, writing blogs books online courses you basically uh, are um, networking uh, throughout you are and it's networking that connects your social media pages together, your websites, your books, your online courses and so you know I will spend time um, networking so going reading other people's blogs, uh, reading uh, articles that get sent to me via the metro, uh, working on my various campaigns and it's, it's making sure that I prioritize so I don't give myself too much to do each day, but I but I still get um, enough done, so I'm not so behind the next day. And what I've been doing a lot is that because I work through notepads, um, you know, I always make sure that I work through an A4 notepad. There's something I I've tried working on A5 notepad, and it's not as effective as working with an A4 because I've got m more uh, an area to write things down and I will use it to also brainstorm um, but also work through like this like that and, that and that may help me with my content and it's just you know um, it keep going through that stuff that hasn't been done that could be used in a video or that you know um, I just write a list because to make sure I've got the stuff done, but that I can also use for my content because uh, being someone who writes blogs and creates videos, uh, you know, I want to keep I want to keep making sure that my content is original. Um, there's things that I've written down like this that could also help people who do do the kind of work that I do, and you know, but it's making sure that you don't you don't. Um, have so much to do but that you balance it so you know tonight i will i will pos uh, possibly you can tell i've done too many videos now <laughs> um I, I will possibly watch a bit of uh ashes to ashes or one of my t favorite tv series um and you know it's just basically you know making sure that you go over your work you don't get lost uh, but you also spend time on other areas in your life and take a break because that is important because like this morning I was so tired so tired that uh, I, I, even though it was like 11 o'clock or kind of 12 I just needed to go back to bed and I went back to bed and listened to an album because I really didn't sing it by the way um, I will talk about some music and it, um, my current favourite music I've been listening to and it's music that I forgot that um because i said in in one of my videos that like music pop music and was like my first love but actually um 
I listened to a singer that I haven't heard for, for years and it was like no that's my first type of music and it's um and I'll talk about that in another video but um and if you need that you don't want to work so much that you don't have enough energy to continue you know in the next day but if you do need to take a day's break make sure you do um use your weekends differently to what you do during the week that's what you know helps me and you know just keep track of where you are you know and what needs to be done um and anything you can put off you know like for example i mean no one's died that i haven't hoovered today but i know that, that you know i will make time for it and i will hoover you know uh it's just that cleaning isn't my forte i will never be like mrs hinch much as i would love to be but i just haven't uh, and you know but i just i do like the, the end result when it comes to cleaning but it is just doing it it's like if i could choose between you know um doing a youtube video or, or doing cleaning it would always be do youtube video because i'm not into cleaning at all i did work in housekeeping uh, for a bit and when i went to holiday camp i did a bit of housekeeping but i remember thinking you know what I'm, i don't think i could ever do this full time and this is somebody that was working in the coat department and lots of it was cleaning <laughs> uh, but it's different when you're you know you different when you're working and you have to do it to when you go home because it is like you know i remember they used to work for the entertainment company and they kept i mean some mornings where they wanted us to clean before the lines are opened and i was like oh bloody hell this is what i do all day when i'm at home you know <laughs> so i'm living with you know at the time i was living with gary poppins you know and i wanted the house cleaned every day and that's not me i don't clean homes every day I, I wasn't about to start you know um so you know um i always say you know focus on the things that you want to do first and you know, focus on the things you you don't want to do last because it's not going to kill anybody oh, of course if it's a phone call to the bank and you need your you know your bank details changed then that's different um but with that uh, you know with our online banking now it's a lot easier so you don't have to call anybody you know and calling a bank is that last resort isn't it you know but um things like you know if um you know going through i mean cleaning i can use as part of my content so in a sense you know that helps me get it done because think about doing youtube videos and blogs you can share whatever you like really um as long as people who watch it can benefit from it you know if they feel no benefit from it then they won't watch it you know and so but also it's balancing out all the things that that's involved in your business and in your job um and if you are looking for uh, looking for a new job you know go over you know um you know what the interview was like if it's just the first one um is there something that i could change about myself that would make me a stronger candidate for for the job that i want to go for and it's just just going over uh, each thing that can help you towards the next thing you know um you may have to try to have about six or seven interviews before you get to the one that that you know you've got the job i mean because yeah that element is you don't know how many other people are going for that job you know um so but it doesn't say that you should stop and what I would, my advice would be to you know, go through any anything that catch your eye and you think yes i can do that and go for it even if they say they prefer you to have knowledge and and, you know like if they if they want you to have knowledge of using a certain database for example and you haven't done that it doesn't mean that you can't go for it because you can because a lot of the time if they see that you've actually have used uh, software um, that's similar to that then they know that you're going to be easy adaptable to new software so they may still give you the job on that you know um one thing i would always say is don't go into an interview like you just get out of bed because 
they will send you packing. Um, you know, always make the effort. You know, don't go in there stinking. Don't overdo it with the aftershave and the, the perfumes. But just, you know, be hygienic. Make sure you wash your hands, obviously, with COVID. If they ask you to wear a mask during the interview, then, you know, follow it. Um, always give yourself enough time. Check the day before, you know, where the interview is. Just double check. Uh, double check if there's anything you've missed that you, that you, you haven't that you may need to provide in that interview that you've got all together and I would always say get yourself a um, a plastic folder you know the the um, I should have one here to show but basically if you even if you've got like a cardboard folder you know take that with you put all your documents like your CV uh, your ID because often then if it's um, if it's working for like a theme park, for example, you would have to be CRB checked and DBS checked, and also if you've got a criminal record, you know, um, and anything that they ask, any d d identification, like a passport, uh, the driver license, take that with you, but put it all in a fo like a folder. Um, take a copy of your CV if you've had to send that in, and the cover letter that you wrote, so you can refer to it um because that's what they will do um and or if they ask for a cv that is uh, if it's an application form find go to you like a library if it's open or see if you can um if you've got a printer and a scanner sc scan the um application form and take it with you um a copy if you want if you weren't able to keep a copy of it for yourself um and just make sure that you you know um, and practicing the questions that's what I have, that's what I did once uh, I went through like uh, common uh, interview questions and I wrote down some answers so if they did ask uh, uh, those type of questions I had notes there to hand and I would I read over them and then once I had the interview then I was prepared and that's what you need to do if you are uh, if you are someone that's looking for work um, you know, go through everything. Like, you know, did I did I check? Did I look at their website? Uh, did I um, read the specification um, fully? Um, is there something that you know I need to declare to them? Um, you know, uh, and basically just um, and just be prepared um, and. My advice is don't don't have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea because if you one thing if you've got a weak bladder you don't want to be best for the toilet when you're in the middle of an interview um, and yeah that's it really um, so that's I hope it has helped you um, I wish you the best of luck uh, don't fear I was glad it's Friday I think I'm I'm in I'm in slow mode now where I'm it's uh, tough to get words out and my mouth and my brain are starting to <laughs> um, not work together at the minute uh, I think because it, the, it, the the end of the week is starting to be felt you know <laughs> and it's like yeah I can't wait to have my weekend where I don't have to you know put a day clothes on and sit in my pajama bottoms <laughs> um, again so because some days yeah, I know I mean, I do enjoy what I do, but it is tiring. I'm not, you know, it, and uh, it is full on sometimes. But I do enjoy it. But you do need to give yourself time to reflect, and that's why it's good to take yourself, to take a break for a certain part of your job, just so you can focus on something else, and you can have a bit of. Um, because weekends I do, I take it a lot easier than during the week, you know. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you have a good weekend and that um i hope it's the weather gets warmer because apparently it's been quite deceiving i uh because lockdown's been lifted um i do plan to venture out um but i'm just gonna weekends for me is chilling watching some documentaries doing a bit of work but not over do, not doing as much as what i do during the week i see the weekends as well i do something different to what i do monday to friday that's how I like to you know, live. 
and um, yeah, anyway, have a uh, wonderful evening, and I'll see you again once my brain and my mouth starts to work together again. <laughs> anyway, take care, bye.